I don't finish my coffee in 10 minutes. I think 10 or 15 minutes is max. You should finish your coffee bun, especially if it's hot coffee. Cold coffee, you can drink it for a longer period of time. But hot coffee, it doesn't make sense, right? Like you have to finish it off in like 10-15 minutes or else it'll get cold. And then you have to reheat the coffee, which I usually do. Every person in my life has told me to drink my coffee on time. My mom, my dad, Rahul, every single person. Rahul gets really irritated when he sees my coffee cup on the dining table, just there. Just lying there for three hours. And then I'm going to reheat it after three hours. And then I'm going to drink it for two minutes. And then I'm going to reheat again after one hour. And then I'm going to finish it off. I don't know. I cannot finish my coffee in like 15 minutes or half an hour. I just can't do it. And it's not something intentional. It just happens. I take a sip and I keep it. And I forget about it. I forget that I was drinking coffee. What I want to do today is I want to sparkle. Chica, I want to sparkle today. Do you think this is the right color? What do you say? Pa? Pa? Thank you! Thank you! What do you think? Do you think this is the right color? What do you think? Okay, wait. Just put a little bit on my eyes and I'll show you. How do you think that? Hmm? You like it? You approve of it? Okay. I don't know why exactly I do that with my coffee. I can finish my tea in like five minutes. Five minutes, I can finish my tea. But when it comes to coffee, I cannot. I don't know, it's just something about coffee. And I don't drink cold coffee generally. I do drink it, but I love drinking hot coffee more than the cold coffee. And I cannot drink black coffee. I think I've said it before that I absolutely ugh, hate black coffee. I actually went back home before I shifted to this new house. And, and I brought some things back with me. One of those things... <laughs> I can't believe I actually found it. A few of my dresses from back when I was in college and I made those dresses myself. I didn't really think that I was going to find it, but I eventually found it. I really, really, really destroyed my wardrobe back home to find those things. And I finally found it. And kudos to my mother who actually kept those things, those clothes. So I got it. One of the dresses that I found was from my own brand called house of roy back in 2019 i guess i don't know yeah i don't have that brand anymore i actually just started that brand for fun you know i was never really serious about that brand i was just like you know what let me just make some clothes and try to sell them and see if people are buying it and uh people did buy it but then i was relocating to some other city back in 2020 2020 2021 2021 so i shut it down thinking that i am going to start it again in a few months which did not really happen till today i'll tell you one thing if you think that you are stupid why would you shut down your business why would you shut down your brand i was i started the brand from my room back in my parents home and it was like one woman show i did everything sending out packages packing uh making the clothes okay i did everything pattern making everything social media everything there was not a single person working for me okay it was me all me I don't want to degrade my brand just saying that i wanted to do it for fun because in future i do want to restart it 
But at that time, I was young and I just started it like that. I didn't really think about the future of the brand. I didn't really think that I wanted to make something out of it. It was just something that I wanted to do and I did it. You know what I mean? And there was no one working for me. I was just doing it from my room and I started it and then, and then I closed it. Understand what I'm saying. It's, it, it's just something I did for fun back in the days. I do want to start it again and do it more seriously. That's the plan. That's the goal. And I hope and I hope I'll be able to do that sometime in future. But there's this black dress that I made. And a lot of people bought it. Like it was one of those dresses that you know that it is going to be a hit. Like you just have, have that feeling in your gut that it, it is going to work. And I found that in my wardrobe, hidden on the topmost shelf in a bag full of scraps from 2019, full of swatches of fabric from 2019. And I was just surprised because when I left home, I just left the dress there, you know, but now I have it and I'm just so happy that I have it, you know. I learned this trick of contouring from Instagram as always. There was this Korean makeup artist who said that you have to go like that. You know, like a three. And I think it works. Only I remember how much I worked to make this dress. How many trials it took. And you may look at this dress and think, oh, it's, it's rather simple. Why did it take you so much time to make this? I was an amateur at that time, fresh out of college, okay? And I was just trying something new. So this was a difficult thing to make. <laughs> oh my God, this is bringing back so many memories let me wear shoes i still remember making i think 15 16 ish trials of this dress because i don't know i was just not getting what i wanted but i finally got what i wanted i had the, the puff has like you know like come down a little bit but how is it? I'll wear big earrings with this. The last time I wore this was in 2020. It was my birthday. And this is the second. <gasps> I like this. I like the big chunky earrings with this. What if I like tie my hair back, you know? I like it with my hair back because I really want the earrings to show. I'm just so excited. I, I don't have words. I don't know what to say right now because I'm just so excited. It just, it feels very different because I made it myself and I also sold it. And then I stopped and I didn't sell it anymore. And I'll just take my bag and uh, be on my way. And that's it, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys liked the dress. I liked it. I hope you liked it. Like, you you can also not like it. But I hope you do like it. But, yeah, that's it. Bye. See you guys next time. Non più trai farfaloni amoroso Notte giorno di torno girano 